Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and I am here in the Star Bus. Sorry if the light's a bit low and you're struggling to see me. I've just pulled into a field. Um, it's after midnight and I did a video the other week talking about the noctilucent clouds which we saw from Blackpool over the Pleasure Beach. Well, I finally spotted them again. It's taken me ages to spot them again. We had so little luck in spotting them and they're really, really hard to predict. But I'm here. I've actually just pulled into a farmer's field uh, just outside Blackpool actually, not too far from home and they're out again but they're very very faint. I'll see if I can show you now. Let's go and have a look. Okay now check this out, look at that. <clears throat> Doesn't that look absolutely awesome? That's the moon by the way. <laughs> I'm looking the other way. <laughs> I just want to show you where I am. So um, over here, over this way is Blackpool. I think you can just about see the tower there in the middle. Can you see it just above the trees? That's Blackpool Tower. And that's a pan round here. I'm not sure if these are going to show up, but you can see sort of the twilight over there. We've got the twilight now. We're very close to the solstice. In fact, the solstice is tomorrow. Now then, can you see just down here? Look at that there. Yeah, these cars are going fast here. Can you see where the pylons are? Just above the pylons there, middle of the frame, we've got a very, very faint display of not losing clouds you could just about see them they're really really faint though compared to that what we saw the other night from Blackpool from the Pleasure Beach yeah so there you go how about that eh I finally got to see them again it's really really difficult because they're so unpredictable and you never know when they're going to come out with I was out with my friend the other night there's a star bus there by the way um, there's a country lane just here um, yeah I was out with my friend Chris and I did the live stream from the beach, St Anne's Beach, if you saw that, and they did not show up one little bit. But now, a couple of nights later, they're out again. But as I pan round, you can see that um, it's really just that little bit there, that little bit there where the pylons are, can you see? And really, th there's, there's no sign of them anywhere else. So it's a very, very faint display tonight. It's a very weak display now that display that we had over the pleasure beach last week was quite strong it was really really strong they can light up the whole sky in fact they can light up all this sky here we're looking towards the north here you see that star there that's called capella now that is getting to its lowest point that it gets to in the sky and when it gets to the north that's its lowest point and then it starts to swing back up again so that's capella there so we're looking straight towards the north now and that's where um, the sun pretty much is now it's getting down to the its lowest point below the horizon the sun and it's illuminating these clouds here that we can see I'm going to show you a picture now that I've just taken with my camera it looks absolutely amazing check out this picture now you can see the pylons here and I think the pylons really suit a foreground for these clouds because they have like that electric electric blue color to them you know there's a bit of mystery about them as well you know uh, there's not a lot known about uh, why you know how they appear you know and they don't go back you know sightings of not loose and clouds don't really go back that far so maybe they're a result of the industrial revolution putting lots of dust up into the atmosphere and you know there's only really been sighted for the last hundred years or so so they don't have a history going back too far but there you go absolutely amazing uh, those pictures that I took there, I'm really happy with those. I'm really happy that I got to see them because they were very hard to see from home. I just couldn't see low enough. I couldn't see this low down. So there you go. I managed to see the knots loose and clouds again. I'll just tell you that the photograph I took there was shot at about 135 millimeters for, I think it was eight seconds at ISO 320. They don't require a really long or a high high ISO to take them you can even take them with a mobile phone uh, and normally automatic mode does a pretty decent job of getting a picture of them so eight seconds ISO 320 f2.8 and I was using 135 millimeter just to sort of compress because they're very faint and they're very small I decided to put my 70 to 200 on and zoom into them a little bit just to to make it a bit more of an effective photograph because they were so it was such a small little 
display of not losing clouds that uh, a wide shot would not really have suited so that's why i went for the telephoto shot so there you go how about that eh? i'll try and do another video if i get a chance if they show up again sometime this week hopefully a bit brighter than this display here you could only just see them anyway i hope you like the video if you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and i will see you again next time